Good evening and welcome back once again. Um, so we're going to have a look at a new course which has been created by the Pro Spartan Gamer. If you're familiar with his channel, you'll have seen that I'll, or I've already done a couple of videos on his courses. This is his third course that he's created on 2K23. Um, he's done a video on it as well. So I'll, I'll put that link in the description. Um, recommend that you go and watch that. He gives a bit of insight in, into how he created the course and also some tips on how to play certain holes. So I have watched that beforehand, um, which he did recommend. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, Owen, once again. Really appreciate you, um, you know, giving me updates on it. And yeah, there's been some great screenshots. But the main thing is trying it. So we're going to jump in. Like I said, if you want to try it, search for Battlefields of Sparta. I just searched for Battlefield and it was the only one that came up. And we're just going to jump in. Um, I'll probably have a look at the overview of that, each hole. Um, just to have a look how we're going to play it. I did watch Owen's video, but you know I'll have to make some of my own judgments on shots and things like that. But I've taken some of his advice as well. So let's see if we can have a decent round. Okay, so on the first tee here, um, just before getting off you know, starting properly. Just want to apologise if, if there's any background noise. Normally I try and record like quite late at night um, because where I live, it's quite near like a main road and there's normally a lot of traffic and people going around. So you might hear a little bit of background noise. Um, but yeah, so we've got a, a par four and it's looking just under 40 yards to the pin. So let's have a look here. So Yeah, and I know from what Owen said, the pro spawn came in, is this is going to be like a very rugged landscape. Um, obviously, hence the battlefields. So this is like post-battle, a lot of um, rugged sort of landscapes, desolate. Um, you know, the grass has been like scorched and uh, trodden down. Um, so you see this one here, you've got... How long? So around about the 300 mark, you've got these bunkers. And, I mean, this is very dangerous, and the wind's going that way. So, But if you look, if you get anywhere near there, you're in trouble. Um, and then to try and get in the green, you're probably going to have to lay up back out. So with this one, I'm, I'm thinking that I might actually lay up a fair bit. And if we do, say if we manage to get about here... You've then still got 200 and odd yards to the pin, so yeah, it's a tricky one actually. Um, I might put a bit of fade just to counteract the wind, um, but yeah, I don't really want to go too far and then end up in the bunker because I think that would be like the worst possible scenario. But yeah, I'm going to take my time on this one. See, I'm still getting fairly close, but I'm going to take my time on this one, try and give an overview of each hole, so do bear with me. I know Owen's put a lot of time in, and effort into this, like he has done his previous two courses, and this one looks very different. Um, I know he's playing on the, I think it's the Delta um, sort of area. So this is an interesting... Um, look here you've got this lovely sort of cavern or alcove um, to aim into so it's a bit of a blind drop um, and obviously you've got bunkers on the left here and on the right and rocks to contend with so we're looking at about It's probably going to play about 195, and then with the wind, I mean, you're looking at about, I don't know, 185 ish. So I might play it like that, put a bit of loft on. And the wind's pretty strong, so. Yeah, that I can see me heading towards that bunker there. Uh, which wouldn't be terrible. Um, oh, dear God. Yep, I found it. Well, I found I found the rocks. It's classed as heavy rough. 
Oh, this is going to be nasty, actually. I think I'd rather been in the bunker. Um, I think we're going to go for a flop shop. Um, I don't know from Owen's video, we did say that if you get stuck in any of the hazards near the whole, like, it, it just can't be helped, but sometimes the camera will go a bit funny. Um, just the way the game is designed. Yeah, this is a... Oof. Well, I can see we're off to a good start already. So I've got to chip in for a par here. Go on, chip it in. Nice! It's the first chip in I've had in a while, but that was to save par. So, I can see... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I can see already this is going to be a lot trickier. So, second hole. It's par 3. Fairly long par 3, 200 yards, but if you look across this um, desolate, desolate wasteland that you've got to go over. And then you've got these... Uh, oh, there's an eagle just going past there. I think it's an eagle. Um, you've got a fairly shallow green... Um, but it's fairly lengthy in terms of left to right. You've got these rocks to contend with. You're a little bit short. You're going to be in big trouble because that could bounce anywhere. Same as going too far, actually. Um, it does filter into the hole a little bit here, but you don't really want to be heading over there with that bunker. Um, it's a tricky one with the wind because the wind is kind of just in our face a little bit so we might need to aim I think a 4 iron but again that wing could change but I'm going to aim I'm probably going to aim right to the, the the right edge of the green there yeah that wind's really took it but that's pretty safe I think yeah Whoop. That's okay. I thought it was going to roll off the green there. Um, and I know in the video Owen said that he hasn't made the actual greens too difficult. Obviously, he's still going to have some slope and putts and some tricky putts, which is good. But they're not going to be, um, you know, on the really ridiculous side, um, which is uh, which is nice. I think it's more the drives and the approach shots that are going to be the most difficult part. So it's going to be a lot of thinking around, you know, when to go for it, when not to. Um, yeah, I think about a midline should be about right. Nope, that's nowhere near. It's been a while since I've um, since I played this game. I think the last one I did was the Predator, and that was about a week ago. I think, and I hadn't played in a long time before that. Um, oh, you can see that, again, the eagles in the background, a nice touch. I know there's quite a few animals on, on this as well, but you can see in the background the, the sort of, the lovely the mountain crests there, um, the desolate trees as well. There's a lot of dead, dead trees. And if I have a look on here, it's a par four. And again... Yeah, just around, just over the 300 yard mark, you've got a bunker here. You've got a bunker on the right if you're laying up a bit short. And another bunker to the right there, so depending on, on how the wind is. Um, and then you've got roughly, again, maybe 200 yards into the pin. So quite a lengthy, lengthy par 4. Let's have a proper look here. So yeah, you could potentially make it somewhere over here. Um, it's whether you want to or not. And I think we'll aim. Going to take a little bit of a risk because this could start heading towards that bunker on the left there. In terms of distance, ooh, no, we're okay. But 
you see if you slightly miss hit that that was perfect to either go in the left or right hand bunker so really nicely placed um kind of played safe and went up short um let's have a look here so you've got this lovely sort of almost almost like a swamp sort of area here um like i say about 200 yards into the pin on a pretty bad slope here so we're gonna have to take a net account for that um, but the wind is the wind should bring this back a bit now have I hit it hard enough nowhere near hard enough Ooh. No, so got another chip here. I mean, that's not too bad. Um, but as you can see, I'm not finding the greens like I normally would. Um, I think that was partly because of the slope I was on. Maybe I was on a slight uphill as well. So for this, a um, little bit of loft, a little bit of spin. This is going to go left, but the slope is going to take it back right. So that should just about do uh, put a bit too much spin on so got a tricky one to save power again oh I was just about to say nice save but just trickle by there so that's the first bogey of the round on the third to be honest um, pretty good goal not getting it in the first two now we've got our first par five and again avoiding the bunkers is going to be key you know if you find one of these you're going to be struggling to even make par um, so you've got a fairly standard drive do you want to maybe go up a little bit short um, if you did manage to make it to the end of the fairway, you maybe have a shot to go in for the green. Or do you lay up short and then go for the middle fairway and then into the green? I'm probably going to play on the safe side. Um, I think. Yeah. Now it is downhill, but the wind's in our face, so this should be okay. It should stop fairly quickly. Yeah, that's about spot on. And as you can see, it's still 278 to the pin and it's uphill. I don't know if there's any way I was ever going to get there. So what we'll do is we'll try and lay up, avoid the bunkers again. Nice bunker placement so you can still find trouble. Not sure what you would do if you got in that bunker. Again, you probably just have to lay out like 20 yards. Um, yeah, it's nicely done. And 145, 70 foot up. So that's about. Take about 23 off. So that's about one. No, 23 on, sorry. Um, so that's about 168, 178. This is probably playing about 180, I think. I think 177 would do it. But let's have a look. Now, this is a fairly large green, which is good. But missing left and right, it's sloping right into these bunkers. Um, and we've already been in sort of rocky or bunker areas previously. So want to try and avoid that and there's a slope off the front as well so you definitely don't want to be short um might put a bit of d loft on actually let's hope we've got the right distance that looks good that looks good oh just held it um maybe another club and a tiny bit of loft would have done, but that's fine. Got a shot at a birdie, which is probably all you can ask for on this hole. 
I think it's just going to be left edge. Nice. So I actually get a birdie on that one. I would have taken a par before it. So that's pretty good going. Okay, so on to the fifth, another par three. And again, this is around about the 200 yard mark, but it is quite massively downhill. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of um, a lot of dead trees, barren wasteland. So this is a you know proper desolate landscape here. And then when you actually get to the green itself, if you miss anywhere off the green, you know you could be running down the hill, ended up in a rocky area, this bunker. So lots of hazards, and it doesn't look like the easiest green to to hit. You know, this is quite a lengthy par three. So what we're looking at. So it's playing just over 200 yards, but downhill probably take about 18 yards off roughly. So that'll be 285. 185 even. Um, winds in our face a bit, so about 195. Yeah, I think I think a five iron with a little bit of loft. I'm gonna put a little bit of draw in, and I'm gonna play it sort of towards the right edge of the green. Obviously the wind will bring it back a little bit. Could I be bunker bound? I am. Is that loft I put on? If I didn't put the loft on, I think I would have been fine. But we're in another hazard. Certainly getting practice on um, on this one. On hazard shots. Um. So. Didn't mean to do that. Um, so it looks like the green slope mainly to the left. I want to stop this as sharply as we can. That's a pretty nice shot. Didn't really give it enough chance to turn. So, but again for par. Nice, saved that one. And if you missed on that one, that could have easily trickled down quite far away from the hole. So it was imperative that we got that one in. Really nice par three there, though. It was pretty pretty tricky. Obviously, as you can see, I landed in the bunker. Um, and often with the quite drastic elevation drops and rises, it's and you've got fairly strong winds. It's it can be difficult to judge. Um, so onto the par four six. What I've got here, so got a bunker on the right here. So again, about that, just around about that three hundred yard mark. Yes, yeah, so you've got a rock over here. You've got trees, plenty of danger there. Nasty bunker here. If you get in there you, again, you're probably gonna have to lay up. Um, it is uphill. So what we're probably going to do is aim for the bunker. The wind will take it round. Hopefully we'll end up somewhere over here. Even if it's short, that's fine. And then you're probably looking at what? 150 yards, 140 yards to the pin, which isn't bad. Just a wedge. Yeah, so hopefully this shot will take it away from the bunker with the winds. Start heading towards that rock. Not right at the rock, though. Ooh, hit the rock, but we're fine. Um, yeah, that was just like a magnet, wasn't it? Um, uh, tricky lie here as well. And the approach... Wow, okay, so this green... Right side, I think, has got to be the place to aim for. Um, bunkers all around. Rocks if you really miss it or overshoot it. You've got a nice bank here, so you could maybe draw in to counteract the wind. 
and the slope might take it back. You'd certainly want to avoid this part of the green here. Um, so it's going to play about 135. So I think we'll just. Well, first of all, we're going to add a bit of draw, which takes some of the uh, loft off anyway. And yeah, I think we're going to play it pretty much right edge here. The draw will counteract that anyway, the wind. But hopefully, it should just hold up over here. Wow. I am not sure what happened there. I've totally misjudged that. Um, the wind just totally knocked the power out of it. Um, well, this is not a good lie. Yeah, this could be danger. This could be real danger here. Oh, this ain't good. <laughs> Stop quick. Stop quick. Oh. God, this is to save bogey. Um, just right edge, I think. Oh, nice. I mean, after being completely plugged in that bunker, I'll take a bogey there. But as you can see, you know, we've already had two bogeys. Managed to get a really good birdie on that par five, but tough going. Um, par four. So what is this? This is, it's only 300 yards, so it must be like a... Ah, okay, I think I remember this one. Um I believe this is one, well, first of all, it's not going to happen because the wind's 40 miles an hour in our face, but I think what you can do on a good day, you can potentially aim over here. Yeah, so if you look, can't really see very well, but uh, I think on a good day, you m might want to risk it. Probably take a few practice attempts, but you could potentially go for the green there. Like I say, with the wind the way it is, there's no way I'm going for that today. Um, but laying up over here isn't that easy either. Because you've got a relatively small landing area for the fairway. It's massively downhill, but the wind's also in our face so this should be about okay yeah that looks fine I don't think we're gonna have a really easy shot into the green though that's about spot on no that's fine we've got a decent shot into the green here Um, very inset green hidden away by all of these trees again lots of barren wasteland so if you don't hit the green you can have a pretty difficult shot um, and as we've seen already, that can lead into not just one difficult shot, but lead you into two or three. Um, let's say you definitely want to avoid the right side, stay safe over the left side maybe, which is the wind's helping us in that direction anyway. Um, it's playing at about... I'm going to say about one... 130-ish with a drop on the wind so I'm going to aim over here I'm going to put a bit of D-loft on because of the, the wind um, but again that wind should carry it onto the safe part of the green let's hope I've got my distance right this time though is that too much D-loft? Just about right. That's fine. That's safe. I'm happy to land in the green for once. But again, if you make it onto the green, the, the, the putts aren't you know, ridiculously tough. 
which some co courses are well known for, and that's fine, you know, a lot of people enjoy the challenge of having really difficult putts. Um, but I think this one rewards you for, if you're you know if you're good enough to find the green, um, which is difficult in itself, then you might have a, you know, relatively, not easy putt, but a relatively standard putt. Um, yeah, there's not massive breaks at this point. Some of the greens might have that, obviously we don't know yet. And it depends where you land, you know, you've got to aim for your, your good spots on the green. I think we're going to aim one grid. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Ah, good weight, but just didn't turn enough there. But again, happy with a par there. Really am. So, on to the eighth, and it's a par five this time. We've got 628 yards to the pin, so a fairly lengthy par five. Um, first landing, landing area, again, we've got a very large bunker here, um, just about where you want to be landing around. And if you do overshoot slightly, you've got a bunker here as well. Then it looks like you're going to have to lay up anyway to here. And then a shot into the green. So let's have a look at this in a little bit more detail. Um, I mean, yeah, that's a massive bunker there. Got to avoid that at all costs. Um, now the wind is going left to right a little bit. So I'm going to draw it slightly. Which might seem counterintuitive because I'm drawing towards a bunker, but the wind should hold it off. Yes, yeah, so I'm well over to the right side. Let's just hope I'm not too far to the right. I think I might be. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh, it's heavy rough as well. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. What do I do? Do I risk. Do I risk going for over here? We're risking it. I mean, this could be serious trouble if this goes wrong. It's okay. I think we're okay. Oh, I don't think we're okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. God, if, I, if, I'm, if I go for this, am I going to hit the this bush or shrub that's right in front of me? Um... Oh, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to go for it, you know. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go for it. I'm going to play the AI and Jesus, there's a big bloody condor or something just went by. Um, I mean, surely you can't hit those. Right. I'm not sure if we're going to hit the bush yet. It's okay. I think we're green bound. I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, oh, so here's a bit of a slope. So if you hit it a little bit too soft, um, you might end up down down here somewhere. So I want to avoid that. Um, but yeah, you can see that the amount of difficulty you can get in this hole took a bit of a risk on a couple of the shots there and on another day that could have went disastrously wrong and if you slightly miss hit when you're in the rough you, you're screwed basically um, I think I'm going to aim a full square wide if it's a little bit too far left that's fine oh it's looking good oh what a put that was Perfectly judged. I did take a little bit of the pace off as well. That was perfect. I can't believe I got a birdie on that after those um, first three shots, which had me in so much trouble. Um, so, got a par three again. And, yeah, again, this one's over the 200-yard mark, but it is downhill. Um, it's in inset so into sort of like a big cliff face cavern and you've got like a multi-tiered green here so if you're a little bit short a little bit left 
well you can have a, if you manage to stay in the green somehow you've got a, a massive putt uh, maybe not in terms of actual distance but hitting that up that hill is going to be a nightmare um, and trying to chip or pitch anywhere from around here is going to be difficult so obviously you want to try and land on this upper tier if you can um, so this is going to play what about 202 without the wind um, wind is a little bit on our face I think we might fade it in a bit take a little bit of the mm, yeah, we don't want to take too much off I think we're going to aim pretty far right but again that m is that enough I don't think that's enough I think I haven't aimed further than that I'm going to hit that bank I could bounce anywhere oh oh dear I'm actually kind of pleased it didn't stay on the green there because that would have been a nightmare putt. I mean, this is not going to be a good shot. Um, it's not a nice shot. But. Um, God, it's going to veer off right as well. Stop, stop, stop. Should have put a bit of spin on and I didn't. Again, another par save put here. It looks relatively straight. I don't think there's enough movement for me to really sway one way or the other, so I'm going to hit it straight, taking a little bit of weight off. Oh, saved. A couple of nice puts in a row. But again, I was in big trouble there. So on the, to the second half of the course, and we're starting with a par five. Now we have already birdied one par five. Can we do the same as? I mean, first of all, there's a massive sort of lagoon here. Over here looks like marshland or like a swampy area. And again, some really well placed bunkers. So you've got bunkers either side of this sort of 300 yard mark go a bit further you've got a bunker just at the end of the fairway um, it is downhill but winds in our face so I think if we aim we'll have a look at what options we've got for the second shot I'm not sure yet but really want to just make sure that we end up in the fairway otherwise you really will just have to, to lay up somewhere over here So yeah, obviously that wind in our face has taken quite a few a number of yards off us. And you've still got over 300 yards to the uh, to the pin. So, I don't know, maybe on a good day if you landed over here, could you go for the pin, maybe? It is downhill. Um, got a very narrow fairway here. I don't really want to be aiming over there, I don't think. So I think we're going to lay up. somewhere over here avoid the bunker another eagle or condor going past there aim over here the wind will take it over here somewhere if we can land in this sort of area we've got still got a decent shot into the the green just check on my lie as well always remember to do that before you take your shot sometimes it's easy to forget you know you're checking your yardage checking your wind and you, f you forget to take an account for your lie and you've got a, a difficult um you know the balls below or above your feet that can make a massive difference to your shot um, but that's pretty much spot on um, only got 140 odd yards so this is going to play at about 130 no it's going to play at about 145 with that wind um, it will go a little bit left and the wind as well I'm going to add a bit of D loft that wind's pretty strong but a bit of spin so it'll stop fairly quickly so this is all about the the distance judgment um, uh, yeah 
undersold that a bit. Bit more D loft, um, not as much spin would have been better. So twenty odd footer, it's going to go fairly sharply right. Um, a bit left. So I'm going to. I think this is more sort of about the ball left of the hole. So it will come back around a little bit. Oh! Again, another nice put. So that's for a birdie on the... Um, I think I've... Have I birdied every par 3 so far? I think I have. Um, let's have a quick look. So, yeah, birdied, 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 yeah. So we've got one more par 5 coming up, which is the unlucky 13th, but somehow I've managed to birdie, or, I, I know like par 5s, that's quite often can be the easiest ones to birdie, but on this course I wouldn't say so. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to find the right... Uh, yeah, trying to find the right camera, there we go. So, par 4, 11th. Um... Yeah, this looks like a fairly simple, probably a wood into this fairway. It's not too much hazards by the looks of it. Um, it's going to be the second shot, which is key, which I'll actually show you when we get to it. But it's a really interesting um, shot choice. Um, I, me I remember this one from the, the pictures and the, the video that Owen did. So I'm going to aim sort of towards this tree. I'll bring it back around over here. Now, as long as we're fairway bound, which it looks like we are, we might clip a little tree there. That's fine. So that's spot on. But look at this second shot. You've got this big archway, which built by the Spartans, I believe. And you've got a column in the middle, so which is sort of blocking it. Um, so you could go left side, and apparently it, it can feed back down into the hole. Or you can aim this way where they've got these dead trees in the way. You're taking quite a big risk. Um, but if you manage to land on the green, you're going to be a lot closer to the hole, obviously. Um, I think I'm going to take the risk and go for the right-sided way. Um, and what's the yardage? 197. 7. I think I'll have to add a bit on. Yeah, I'm going to aim quite far right. As long as I don't hit one of the pillars. I'll probably end up clattering into those trees and bouncing God knows where. Please miss it, please miss it. I have. And I'm on the green. What is the putt going to look like, though, from there? Oh, that's nasty. Well... I was saying before that some of these greens um, are, are relatively flat. This one's certainly not, which is, this is nice. Um, it's not a nice putt, though. Uh, let's have a think. First of all, want to want to take a bit of that yard, a uh, bit of power off there. Um, what's it going to play as? I'm thinking aiming almost like two full squares over here. Oh, I didn't take the flag out. Not that I think I'll be getting towards the actual hole very well. No, that's a nice putt. That's, you know, didn't expect to actually get that in. It was just making sure I've got a, a relatively easy second putt. But, yeah, there's a couple of ways you can go about that. I'm, I'm actually, I think I would try the left-hand way next time just to see whether you would actually have a, a better putt so even if it's like further distance away you might have a bit of a better a better lie a better sort of run at the the pin from the green um okay so we've got a par three here and it's, it looks like one of the shorter par threes but the big elevation changes so relatively straightforward doesn't like this look like any massive sort of um any sort of weird things going on or anything like that but 
it's built into this again almost like a crater and you've got these stones along the outside um, a mixture of live and dead trees and shrubs and bushes but you've got two fairly large bunkers either side it's a big drop obviously so you're probably gonna have to take about 20 yards off this so that's playing at about 118 and then with the wind maybe you're at 110 so I think I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna play it's a tricky one to judge as well um, the side wind <sighs> yeah and you've got a two tier so if you are a little bit short then you're going to pay for it so go 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 that looks good that looks pretty good it's probably the best shot I've played so far um yeah, to get within 10 feet. With those elevation changes, the wind, etc., that's pretty good going. Um, I'm going to say this is about a ball right. Oh, have I aimed further right enough or not? Oh, I haven't. Nelly didn't, didn't move at all, really, there. So, again, got a birdie. Um, I don't think the scorecard really reflects how difficult this course is. I've had some really good putts and some good escapes, but on another day I could have easily been five or six over at this point. Now it's the last par five, so can we birdie all par fives on this course? Um so you could just lay up over here and then you could lay up again over here, then you've got a shot into the green. But from what I remember Owen saying, you have got an option to go over here. And the wind is helping. So. Ooh. Ooh, it's not. Ooh, it's not really helping though, is it? And. Oh, am I going to clip these trees? Ah, uh, let's have a look over here. Ah, uh, do I play it safe or not? feel like I'm kind of wimping out if I don't go for it, especially with the wind at least helping somewhat. Um, I'm going for it. I could live to regret this massively. Where's it going? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Bounce. Not that far. Oh no. I thought I was going to get a little bit lucky there. But you know what? That's not the end of the world. That's not the end of the world. Um, I can just lay up over here somewhere. That's fine. So you can see like I got a little bit unlucky with the bounce. Not necessarily unlucky, but I could have been luckier and landed on the fairway and I would have had a shot into the green. But um the fact that I didn't land really atrociously, I, I had a way of um, you know, just chipping out and we've still got a, a decent chance at a birdie. Um So one twenty five, it's playing at about one eighteen, then with the wind probably I'm going to say about 110. Yeah, so I think it's going to be about... Hmm. Uh, is that going to be enough? No, I think we'll play a pitch shot with a slight bit of loft. Um, the wind's not going to take an effect too much with it being a pitch shot, being relatively close by. Not as much as normal anyway. Yeah, that's pretty safe. Pretty safe. Bit of spin might have helped. So, again a chance for a birdie on the par 5. Good chance this time. Again, I think that's going to be about right edge. No more than that. Taking a tiny bit of wow. I mean that's just shot 
straight left there. Okay, so we didn't get a birdie on that par five, but I'll take that. Still two under, which I think is pretty good going. Um, and I think this is where Owen says that it starts getting more towards the coastal areas. So you can see there's like a, I don't know if it's actually the sea or if it's like a lake, but lots of little dotted water areas around. And again, you've got multiple bunkers probably about where you want to land wow okay yeah so i mean that that's just the ball is going to be a magnet towards that um let's have a look so if we oh wow okay so yeah i think laying up short but then you've got now we're gonna to have to go f go for it aren't we Oh, it is downhill as well. I think we aim towards... Yeah, it'll probably come over here, but surely with... Ah, the wind's going to drag it down a bit, though. Surely with the downhill... I'm going to be in that bunker, aren't I? Shit. Oh. Uh. Right, Owen's definitely done that on purpose. He's caught me out there. So, this is going to be... If we make a par here, we're, we're doing very well. Um, 200 yards still to the pin relatively small green now it is two tiered but if you can aim somewhere over here somewhere you, you it's going to filter back in towards the hole um that's playing at about 200 winds very slightly heading towards us so i'm going to put a little bit of loft on some spin um lies good I think if we aim sort of towards this bunker, even if we land somewhere on this side, it should head towards the hole. It's just whether we've got the distance right, whether it'll run too far. And that's gone way further right than what I thought. No, I think we're in the rough there, are we? On the fringe. Um... Now we've already had one chip in. We kind of need another here. As usual, I'll put a little bit of loft on. Go, go. Oh, oh no, that's cruel. I thought that was the second chip in of the round. So I dropped a shot back to one under. And that was all simply from the tee shot going in that bunk that that bunker, like I say, it was just a magnet for the ball. Um I would say, so far in the course, um, one of the key things has been the bunker placements. All of the bunkers have been very, very well placed where you have to think about almost every single tee shot very carefully. Because one misjudgment, whether it's the actual, the distance, the wind, or just the strike of the ball, you know, slightly miss hitting it can make such a difference. And you're gonna, if you're in a bunker, you know, you're gonna lose a shot most likely. Um, but onto your par three, it's got this massive, just like the end of a river, or if it's a lake, um, some nice rocky features around here. Let's have a look, see if we can see anything else. Um, oh, you got some like little boats around as well. So maybe it's like a docking, a docking bay sort of thing. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful course though. Like I know, being mainly focused on the shots and where I'm going to be aiming stuff, but. The course itself is very beautiful in its own way. It is very, a lot more rugged. Um, but yeah, the water features and the, the sort of 
barren landscape, a uh, pretty nice contrast. So gonna have to take about 20 yards off for the dis for the downhill. So it's say it's about 152. Um yeah, maybe about 155. Yeah, I've been misjudging the wind quite a bit, so I'm going to aim further left than what I think I should. Now, is the distance good? Keep going. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, that's a nice shot. That's a nice shot. I think that's... Yeah, that's probably my best shot so far. Um... Oof. Well... Again, it turned left fairly quickly, um, but managed to get a birdie back. So that's two under now. Um, a couple of par fours with a par three in the middle coming up. So first shot, you've got a couple of bunkers. Relatively large area you can land in, though. Um, sort of like an island team four. You've got this lovely waterfall. over there um, but yeah you sort of oh could you go for this oh no I shouldn't have looked should I um, yeah I think Owen did mention this on the video that you could go for it because yeah, I remember mentioning the rocky side on the left I'd have to add loft on. Add some draw. I'm gonna go for it. I could be in massive trouble here though. Oh that's not good. Oh that's not good. Oh where am I? I don't know where I am. Is that in the water? Oh no. Who should I who said I should go for that? Um I can't even tell where the uh Oh, oh no, this is terrible. Okay there. I mean I'm not okay, but Ah, oh, this could be why did I go for this? Well clearly I'm not gonna chip it. I'm gonna have to flop it. And oh, this is really I'll be lucky if I somehow get this. Do you know what? That'll do. Anywhere on the green. I mean, this is this is to get a bogey. It's gonna turn sharply right there. Go on, get in the hole. Get in. <sighs> Not sure I've ever been so pleased for a bogey. Next time I am not going for that in one. I'm 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 going the safer route. Um I swear down. So, last of the par threes, and it's probably the shortest one by the looks of it. Um so again it's downhill. And it's over this sort of ravine over here. Got some lovely features in the back there. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Um, I know I mentioned this as well. It's like the sort of the barrier to let the the old ships in here, like a defence sort of place. And you've got the turrets there. 
Uh, green's interesting, lots of slopes. Bunkers at the front, That's and it looks like a slope towards that. So, again, this is all about distance control, really. Um, so, 136, but it's probably playing about... What? Uh, 122-ish. But then up probably about 112 with the wind. So probably, oh, but pitches don't tend to. I don't like the idea of playing a pitch. Um, and I can't remember what I just said the distance was. Um, one thirty six, twelve twenty four six. So about one twenty two, one twelve. Yeah, I think about playing at about one sixteen with a bit of spin on. Uh, it is going to go left to right a little bit. This might go a little bit too far, if anything. Nice soft bounce. I mean, that's pretty well judged. I'll take that. Um, nice shot there. Just try and power this in. There you go, that's a nice birdie on the par 3 which I wasn't expecting so back to under 2 that's quite a mixed scorecard and we're on to the last onto the 18th so I'll have a good look at this one so first shot is going to be shooting over this sort of river or ravine or lake I'm not sure what it is but uh, this water feature here and obviously you've got two pretty large bunkers um, and it looks like you've got like a maybe a rock feature in the middle there that you want to avoid. So it's like trees and rocks. And you've got this beautiful waterfall. So your second shot in, you're going to be aiming to the left of the waterfall into the green. So I think we're just going to aim for this slope here. And the wind should take it back in towards here. Now obviously we want to avoid that bunker at all costs. Um So hopefully it won't be anywhere near that. This has gone a little bit further than I wanted. And I've got a bad feeling about... Yeah. This big bloody tree in the way. Um, okay, first of all, let's work out the origin and then we'll work out how to approach this. Um... So you're gonna to have to add about an extra nine on. So that's one sixty-eight. Winds helping. So I'll say about one one sixty at the most. Um so if I add plenty of loft, I'm gonna to have to add plenty of draw. That should do. The problem is, will this and oh, it's sloping Ooh, this is a tricky one. Um, I think I'm going to have to go up another club. And add loads of draw on. Yeah, I think that's more like it. Turn, turn, come on. Turn, 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 turn. Well, I definitely added too much on there. Ooh. Are we off the green? On the fringe. Actually, that's not bad. Not a bad little chip in here. Let's just have a look at the slope here. So, we're going to be chipping over here, so ignore that bit. So, it does slope slightly left to right. Can't really tell the lie we're on, but I'm going to aim... Slightly left edge. I'm not going to add too much spin on. I want it to roll towards the hole. Oh! I mean, that would have been a nice way to finish, wouldn't it? Um, but, part of finish. See if we can get this little tap in. And there we go. 
So that was my first go on Battlefields of Sparta. And um, yeah, very, very much enjoy it. I definitely would say that's the most challenging of three courses of, of Pro Spotting Gamers that I played on. Um, loved the first two. Slightly preferred the second one than the first, but loved them both. Um, this one, again, absolutely love. And I like that it's a lot more challenging. Um, if you do get it slightly wrong, um, it seems to go massively wrong, which is good. So I think if I play that one again, which I'm going to, um, there's a few shots that I wouldn't go for. Maybe just too risky. Um, but yeah, have a look at the scorecard. Birdie, three of the four par fives. Very mixed bag. You can see, like, it was a birdie bogey, birdie bogey pretty much the whole day. But finished two under, which I think is a really good score for that course. Um, I think I was a little bit fortunate on the front nine. I think there was a few holes where I got pars, where I probably should have got a bogey. Um, but hit some really nice putts, which saved me. Um, so I'd say that felt more like a par or slightly over par sort of scoring round. Um, but yeah, absolutely loved it. So what I'll do is I'll I'll leave a link to the Pro Spot and Gamers uh, video that he did on this, and obviously check his other videos out on his channel. He's done plenty of stuff on. Um, 2k23 but he's got some older videos on there as well of like pez games etc um i hope you did enjoy this i'll definitely be doing more videos of owens i know he's probably already thinking about what course he's going to design next but um yeah thank you once again for for sending me all the updates so i really appreciate it um be nice chatting to you and, and stuff like that so absolutely love these i might do another video as well if you might have seen it on my channel i did a little short video of the last course where I did a full playthrough but then I did like a short video of the flybys of all the holes with some music on which I really really enjoyed doing and I thought it did come out really well it looked very cinematic I might try and do the same with this one it is pretty time consuming um, just to make that short video so I will do it when I get time but yeah once again thank you very much for joining um, look out for more 2k23 on the channel I'm sure we'll see the pro spot and gamers courses to come um, once they're published in the future, but I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers.